and how to pick the right moment on the market to switch between these automated trading strategies that we have here at Beatscap. So as we actually discussed like uh, 10 minutes ago in the chat here, I will show you my logic that I follow and some use cases based on the uh, sample trades that I have right now active. And I will show you how you can uh, experiment with different configurations, how you can compare them with each other to, to find the ultimate solution for you, depending on your uh, available balance, because it really uh, it always also depends on the amount of money that you have, because uh, some configurations requires you to allocate more money than you can actually afford. So there are also tricks with regards to this like for example you can have the same cryptocurrency pair on binance and let's say on huobi and you will find that on huobi launching the bot on this particular cryptocurrency pair makes more sense to you because the uh, trade requirements there are lower in most cases uh, so you can see that, for example, having only two hundred dollars, for example, you can afford to 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 trade the configuration that you cannot afford to launch on the Binance with the same parameters. So that's something that I will show you as well, because you can diversify your trading not just by having different strategies uh, trading simultaneously, but you can actually diversify your trading by launching different bots on different exchanges because parameters they really vary because for example on binance the minimum trade size for the like for the most cryptocurrency pairs out there is around ten dollars per order so that's the minimum trade size for one limit buy or limit sell order whereas on exchanges like okx or here i have home as well the requirements can be different it can be better compared with the Binance. So it's something that you really need to check before you uh, configure the bot. And we will uh, actually play with it today. So uh, let's real quick go through the trades that I have right now. Um, I actually closed some trades and you see I have a different mix here. So I have some coins trading to Bitcoin like this one. The aim of these bots is for me just to accumulate the, the zero X on this downfall and the poly on this one. Well, the thing about the, the poly trading to Bitcoin is that look at the market here. It's really, really trading um, from the support line where you see the price of 0 0.00000526 Satoshis, right? So you will notice that it bounced off this level already three times, no, actually two times, but right now we've approached it again and it looks like to me it's gonna bounce off again because it's been quite a long time for this particular market trading in the sideways market formation. So that's a perfect uh, example for you of the cryptocurrency pair where you can launch the sideways bot and we know that for the sideways market we have the as bot because it brings you the most money compared with the classic bot so that's actually what i did on on this particular market because i see it's 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 trading perfectly in the sideways market formation so why not taking opportunity here why not um, allocating some polys and bitcoins just to take advantage of these price swings and to accumulate more bitcoins right because if you look at the price of bitcoin right now relative to dollar you see we actually breached this triangle formation here and this is a pretty much like a bullish signal apart from other uh, signals that we have like if you check other metrics you will you will really see that we are in the phase of accumulation and like most of the indicators and fundamentals they are in favor of at least short-term bullish market so it really makes sense to uh, to take advantage of this market right now so for me the aim here is as I trade poly to Bitcoin I make like my bot makes me money in in bitcoins right 
And at the same time, I expect the price of Bitcoin to appreciate. So that means that the value of profit that I made in this particular trade, which is right now $66, it can also appreciate by the fact that the price of Bitcoin relative to USD also appreciates. So it's pretty much like this. You make your profit in Bitcoin, right? And at the same time, the price of Bitcoin relative to USD appreciates. So that's a double effect. Well, it's not like exactly 2x, but it's pretty much a, you get a bigger multiplier. So that's the aim I follow here. That's, that's basically how you can mix with strategies. You can have some strategies in which you make money in, in the crypto, let's say Bitcoin, the value of which you expect to appreciate relative to USD, right? So in my case, that's I'm trading 0x and, and poly. The poly, once again, I explained, I can see a perfect sideways market formation. So why not taking advantage of it? You see, it's already made me like 21% in 25 days. So that's pretty much 7% per week, right? More or less, like it's around 6% or something per week which is exactly what I mentioned. Like you can really come up with these strategies that can bring you around 7% per week. If you really recognize perfect market uh, scenarios where you can take the most out of the market by launching uh, the S bot, for example, or the classic bot. So for the Poly and BDC, it's clear to me that S bot right now is the perfect one. And honestly, it's not the financial advice or whatsoever, but as I look at it, and I see that it's pretty stable sideways market formation. I'm pretty much sure it will bounce off this level again. Yeah, so that's the thing. But even if it's not, even if it does not bounce off this level, in any case, I'm indifferent because um, I right now have this amount of polys in my portfolio. And in, in the midterm perspective, I do believe that the value of poly will appreciate. So for me, that's that's okay. I mean... If, if the bot is no longer trading in the direction that I anticipated, but at least I have this amount of polis that I would, I would otherwise buy in my HODL portfolio. Like by HODL, I mean a certain stake of your entire portfolio where you just HODL some coins and you do nothing about it. So right now it looks like this exactly. Like I have this amount of polis, they are in my portfolio. So it can be that in a midterm perspective, they will appreciate relative to USDT. So that's why I'm indifferent to the fact that right now we are trading below the trading range that I set. But more or less, like I'm, I'm more confident that it will bounce on this level and it will go back to the zone where the bot will continue trading like it did in this area. So that's it. Um, so by mixing with these different strategies, you can really come up with perfect solutions that can bring you around like from five to seven percent per per week. But you can actually construct even uh, even better strategies that can really make you like hundred percent per month. But in order to achieve this hundred percent per month, uh, it's just about um, the market timing. So right now it's not the, the best time to actually launch these configurations because it doesn't seem to me that the market is bullish enough to, to grow rapidly. And the only way for you to achieve 100% per month is when you see the market like when you see the st like very strong bullish sentiment. Right now it's not like that. I mean, there was an attempt in Bitcoin to breach 40k, but it failed. It was rejected here. So right now we are trading again in the zone of 38k. So as soon as you see the price breaching this area, and right now we can perfectly support it. It's around this zone. Let's make it wider like this. Yeah. So it's had like several attempts to break it in this area. In this area pretty much it touched it and here you see pretty much also touched it and then reverts so the moment you see it breaching it and the price trading in this zone 
it can possibly then bounce like drop again and then bounce off so when you see this kind of scenario of the price breaching like very aggressively this price level of 41k in that case then this is the time to actually uh like for me to reconsider these strategies so for me it would be no longer that profitable to hold on to these trades because i know that now the market sentiment has changed to the strong bullish sentiment and that means that i need to close this close this as bot this one and as one because we are no longer in the sideways market in that case then that means that we will enter the rising market and on the rising market the best way to earn uh, is with the classic bot the thing about the classic bot is that as i mention every time it accumulates more uh, coins basically it increases your exposure uh, by around 40 percent more than the s bot on the rising market because the thing about the classic bot is that it always buys and sells the same amount of coins so even if the like even if it costs like for example here 10 coins cost you like hundred dollars so it's gonna spend this hundred dollars to buy 10 coins but at some point you will see that the price of 10 coins is now like 200 dollars and in this case the classic bot will spend 200 dollars to buy these 10 coins so you see this pattern that the the more expensive is the price of the coin th the more money is required for the bot to actually buy this same amount of coins so that means that you gradually increase your market exposure and that means that you basically buy more coins compared with the as bot and and of course in that sense uh, the the classic bot on the rising market will bring you way more returns when the as bot but right now you see as far as we are still trading in the area of the sideways market formation which is from 30 like around 31k up to 40k it's not yet the right moment to uh, flip the strategies to the classic board because right now it's still sideways and we know that on the sideways market the best strategy is actually the s bot so that's why right now it's not possible it's not the, the best market timing to flip strategies in order to aim for 100 percent per month we can expect around 100 percent per month as soon as we will see the price of bitcoin breaching this 41k and at least like for two or no actually it would be better to see four days of the price staying above 41k this would bring us more confidence that the bullish sentiment is strong enough and that the price would most likely continue the rally for a while and we need to take advantage only in that case out of the market when we see this strong bullish momentum right now it's just not yet the moment so that's why stick with those strategies that are designed to bring you the maximum returns on the sideways market formation and that's it that is this s bot strategy so now let's talk about the different configurations you can have with the s bot strategy so the thing about the s bot and let's actually choose any random coin maybe mm, let me switch to the demo mode and let's choose okay let's choose binance whatever and let's choose maybe <clears throat> let's see some coins we have maybe bnb yeah actually bnb looks good it's a pretty good one right now let's go back to bnb what is that usdt So I would stick with the this kind of configuration. The price is somewhat in between right now. It's like in the middle, you see. It's more or less the pattern formation known as the triangle ascending bottom. And in this pattern formation, you can recognize the accumulation phase. Basically, you can see that the power of buyers on the market right now is strong enough and that's why we have uh, new lower highs you see that's the lower high 
that's the lower high formation and that's it lower high so it's pretty much respects this ascending uh, line angled up support line it's not actually the perfect one because you see I actually uh, mimicked this one but this one what you see here is basically the noise happening so that's why it's pretty much what I don't look at right now but on the top you have resistance right and in this resistance it's pretty much clear that sellers are are, are not letting the, the, the buyers on the market to push higher so in any case this kind of pattern formation um, tells us that the, the the accumulation is strong right now on the market and on the accumulation phase it it makes sense to trade the as board because accumulation most likely uh, will be prolonged for some time and it will form a sideways market formation so right now that's an ascending bottom triangle which is a good pattern by the way and we can stick with the configuration you you see right now so I have my lower price somewhere around the lowest high we had over here and the upper price right at the point where we have our resistance so it's a 50 50 percent split right now okay so uh, it's from the risk perspective maybe that's not the best uh trading setup because because your entry is somewhere in the middle right so maybe not the best one and as you look at it and you see that from the risk to return perspective in order to sustain this configuration you need to have your stop loss around this area so that's a long way to the stop loss right so at least consider allocating uh, less for this particular strategy just because this stop loss is quite far from your entry price I mean if you would have entered this market at the point where you had this lower high then your stop loss would be relatively close to your entry but right now it looks like it's pretty late to enter with this exact configuration but still makes sense because at least you can allocate less than you would otherwise do and on this price of where we had it at 321 but you see 50 50 split is okay so I could allocate let's say uh, maybe maybe 500 USDT and on average I I, I tend to allocate I mean I, I I set my parameters so that my grid step is from around one point zero point well usually it's from 0.7 percent up to 1.4 or 3 percent so that's the range that I select for my uh, grid step this particular grid range has proven to be successful for me it brings me around 30 percent per month uh, for the asbot and it can actually bring me even more if I am trading the classic bot on the rising market but that's from my experience that this particular great step range from 0.7 to 1.4 percent is a good range for me to have 30 percent per month approximately I'm not sure that I would enter this particular market right now because um, I don't like the fact that my stop loss is that far based on this configuration because I feel like it can actually bridge the triangle down to that point and it actually can revert but I mean that's the risk I need to take right and I'm actually not sure that I want to do that so I'd rather look for some other uh, coins that we have out there that have a better market entry so maybe maybe if you look at the ontology to usdt and by the way i'm i'm not trading ontology because i'm not familiar with this coin so trade those coins that the fundamental value of which you understand right so in, in that sense i don't really know about the ontology that much so i'd rather not to the syscoin as well 
Well, Ethereum, by the way, if you look at the Ethereum right now, it looks pretty good entry price. Remove drawings. So this one looks pretty good. Let's switch to Ethereum in that case. Uh, where is that? Ethereum USDT. So I think since we have many things happening around Ethereum right now, uh, the situation with the YAPE and all that stuff and the, the roadmap for the uh, transcendence to the proof of stake and all that stuff. I mean, Ethereum, in my opinion, from the network value perspective, has more potential for this year than, than Bitcoin itself. And as I look at the chart right now, I can actually spot this uh, pretty much also ascending uh, triangle bottom formation and with this being the resistance pretty much and with this area yeah more or less being the ascending support line but at least here I would allocate my I would set my lower price around this area and my upper price here so in this configuration, you would notice that my stop loss is going to be closer than in the configuration that we had on the BNB trading to USDT, right? So in this case, I'd rather stick with this configuration on the Ethereum and also taking into account that I believe more in Ethereum from the network value potential. So that's why I'd rather stick with this one. So that's the, the configuration you can play with where you have your lower price to the point where you had your previous lower high and the stop loss below this area. So below the support in that case pretty much and the upper price exactly where you have the resistance. So because you see it's pretty much bounced off the support three times already. So there is enough confidence that the price will continue the short-term rise so that's why for me it makes sense to try this one so the amount of grid levels I would put maybe around 30 34 or something it looks good to me notice that in this configuration your split of the investment will be around 65 percent I can visually see this and 35% to buy orders. So that means that, for example, if you allocate hundred, uh, yeah, thousand dollars, then 65% is gonna be that's 650 dollars in that case. So you will need to have Ethereum already on your balance worth 650, and that's exactly 0 0.27 Ethereum you need to have, and the rest is 340 dollars, as stated here which is the amount of USDTs you need to have just in case if the price of Ethereum falls and this USDT will be used to buy more Ethereum to basically allocate more Ethereum in your portfolio and to achieve a better entry price, right? Because the thing about the automated bots is that it splits your investments proportionately and by doing this it achieves a better dollar cost averaging effect. So you don't buy everything at one price you have a split of your investment so you buy a bit at, at this price when the price again falls you buy a bit more ethereum and again if it falls it buys a bit more ethereum so all these total uh purchases made on the market make up you uh, uh a better entry price as if you would buy like if you as if you would go all in at one price right so this is where automation really outperforms manual trade in that sense because it's fully automated, achieves dollar cost averaging effect, splits investments and can actually trade for you 24 seven. It always buys this at lowest price and sells at highest price. So that's like the ultimate bot you can find right now on the market. So with this configuration I'm pretty confident to enter the market my stop loss is not that far from the entry price so that's okay for me to allocate that much and I anticipate the price to at least reach the uh, resistance again 
and hopefully if it breaches it at this point and goes even higher then at this area I will most likely switch to the classic bot I mean this should be, this should be the as bot the one that I just constructed uh, but if it breaches the resistance then it makes no longer sense to trade the as bot because we know that as we enter the rising market then it makes more sense to trade the classic bot so this is when I will switch to the classic bot from my as bot at the moment when I see the breach of the resistance line like this one I just made on the chart so yeah that's the thing I mean there are lots of strategies out there that you can guys use like for example no, that's not the one I wanted to show you like this one is also a perfect market scenario where you can enter the as bot because you'd see that's the horizontal support and horizontal resistance line and this is the pattern you can recognize from books and this is the configuration that you can use it's pretty much the one I showed you you see the stop loss is pretty close to your entry price and it's enough potential to reach the resistance and I mean find your top three patterns and learn to recognize them on the market because patterns they really tell you a lot they really tell you a lot about the market sentiment market timing and the basically the market confidence right now so when you see the pattern formation like this one that's that's pretty much the bullish formation and this way it not only forms new lower highs but it also forms you higher highs so sellers cannot withstand the buying pressure and that's why you see new picks here higher and also buyers they are so strong that they don't let the sellers to push the price below this uh, lower high so you see it's it's rising by the support and by the resistance that's a perfect market scenario to launch the classic bot the one you see here it's for the classic bot and that's the configuration that you can actually use as you see the price not just bouncing off the support line I mean it's not enough for us to see it approaching the support so many traders actually rush into the trade at the moment when they see the price just touching the support but uh, like more experienced traders they would rather wait for the pr for the price to bounce off this support and to enter only when you see some some confidence in the market bounce off like this one you see that's the successful bounce off here we have more confidence that the pattern will continue its formation again up to the, the new resistance and the thing about this entry price is that in any case your stop loss is pretty close to your entry and that means that your risk here is limited but the potential like return potential is bigger than the risk that you take in this trade so that's the thing look for the pattern formations make your list of top three patterns and by the way uh, at beats gap we have some patterns that I explained in the blog so you can actually look at them and use some of them you can try them and see if they work for you and yeah you see automated strategies part two for example here I have some patterns for you that those that I prefer to use and all explanations here risk management also explained you can actually find the first part as well here we have some uh, patterns that we just covered with you guys so this is where you can find the exact configurations I used and justify you see so it's it's every it's here for you I mean you don't need to blindly trust me I mean you got this pattern formation you recognized it it's no need to rush to trade your real money you can trade with virtual money just to make sure that you can recognize these patterns and you can make money on this pattern formations so you can trade on the demo mode before you rush trading your real money so you see here in the demo mode I have this active trade right now which is trading for me or it's not actually trading I don't know what's happening in, in, in this one Wow, that's strange. Wow, cool. Looks cool. Yeah, but 
yeah actually something wrong with it because you see it shows me only like 200 trades but in reality i had like 5500 trades so it's just that it's maybe lagging right now to upload all of these trades on the chart but yeah pretty much it should have more for sure but anyway the thing about the demo mode is that you can set any configuration you can test it on any crypto and to see if it works for you and then you can once you build enough confidence in your trading setups then you can start trading with the real money so that's the thing about the demo mode let's go back to the uh, real trade mode so right now well i'm not covering this in this webcast because that i covered in previous webcast the the rationale behind the the reasons why i entered this market with this kind of setup and in this kind of setups you see i have my grid step like 3.82 percent that's heck of a lot here you see 5.74 percent and the reason for this huge gap is because i only launched these bots to capture this uh market dip i didn't want to set perfect sideways market bot i just wanted to use the algorithm of the bot to buy the dip at the best price so that's why i have this gap of around six percent to achieve a better dollar cost averaging effect that's the only purpose of this one but right now you see we are now in the sideways formation so in the perfect scenario i actually should close this board and relaunch it with the better settings where my grid step is now around 1.2 percent instead of 5.74 that i have right now because it makes no sense for me to have it that much right now because i feel like the dip is in the past and it looks like we are going to move in this sideways formation for a while. So it makes sense to switch to another configuration with the S-Bot, but where I have only 1.2% of the grid step instead of 5.74. So it's all about the market timing. The first time I used this strategy, my aim was just to achieve the best dollar cost averaging effect. And that's why my grid step was around 6% now is the time to actually flip to another configuration on the same bot to achieve better results so that's why it makes sense for you to check the activity of your bots like each three days to make sure that the current market conditions comply with the configuration that you have active now so once again the configuration i have for example on 0x to busd from the market standpoint now is no longer relevant it's not the ultimate result it brings me i mean i should switch to another configuration where i have my grid step of around 1.2 percent so actually that's something that i will do after this webinar because i just noticed that that's the time actually to switch same applies to the quantum you see four percent it's no longer uh justified i mean i perfectly see the accumulation phase and it makes more sense to trade with a narrow gap to make more returns so that i let the bot to seize more market uh, swings having that wide gap is not healthy for the bot because like for example if you look at my um, it's not yeah i think that was ltc no not the ltc i actually forgot the one there yeah actually zero x you see before the volatility was bigger because of the market dip and all the market fear we had in this time so right now it, sh it seems like everything's pretty much stabilized and we had news around the uh, el salvador which is positive for the market and we see it's pretty much stabilizing and that means that on a stabilizing market it makes sense to have a narrow gap because in the narrow gap this is where the bot can trade more and right now i don't feel like the volatility is going to be like we had in the time when we had the market fear so it has changed you see and that's why it cannot actually seize my grid levels as of now i need just to switch to a narrow gap in that case to make to let my bot to to have more trade opportunities otherwise i just need more volatility and yeah it's not there so that's the rationale behind the bot is that mm, you need to 
have several uh, trading setups. The first one is to to buy the dip and in order to buy the dip the greed step should be around like five six sometimes seven percent that's what i did here with these bots now it's time to switch to the second trading setup and this trading setup is the is the perfect one for the sideways market which is no longer that much volatile as we had on this period of deep fear now it makes sense to trade with a narrow grid step of around, as I said, 0.7% up to 1.4% approximately. So look at the market, look at what it shows you, look at the pattern formations that can really tell you a lot about the market sentiment. Because that's us people forming this market, drawing these charts. And these charts can actually tell you about the market action a lot. And using some extra tools like the volume profile you can see the point of interest basically the point where the point of price where we had the most volume traded and it can tell us whether or not we are now in the bullish sentiment or it's more like a bearish sentiment right so uh, here it's pretty much trading at the area of the point of interest it's below it so it's pretty much more that the sentiment here is is more bearish than than bullish but as i will see the price trading above this point of interest then this will bring me more confidence that the rally will continue but still taking into account the price right now and other formations from the risk management perspective it still makes sense to enter ethereum and usdt because i would put my stop loss around this area which is pretty close to the entry price still so uh, but that's my logic I mean I, I prefer to enter those trades that where I have my stop loss relatively close to the entry price so in this case this makes sense um, what else we should cover today so yeah two trading setups the first one buy the dip the second one, as you see, the market stabilizes, enters the sideways market formation. It makes sense to change your configuration to the narrow grid. The third, the third setup is to flip your strategies to the classic board as soon as you see the, the, the bullish sentiment on the market. Right now, it's not bullish enough. Uh, like I explained on Bitcoin, we need to see the price breaking 41k and for other coins you can also see the resistance that it should break in order to bring more confidence that the market is now in, in a strong bullish market sentiment and this is the only time when you should consider switching to the classic bot because classic bot is a bit more yeah, it's re pretty much riskier than the S bot because, as I said, on the rising market, it it increases your market exposure. So it makes to sense it makes sense to trade classic bot only when you are confident that we are now in the market rally. It's not like that yet, so wait for the right moment to to switch to this strategy. So three trading setups we just covered. And maybe the fourth one would be to consider the combo bot. So the thing about the combo bot, um, and let me actually switch to my another account where I will show you exactly how I use the combo bot. Right now I, I'm not using the combo bot and the, the reason for that is that the market is in the sideways formation and for the combo bot sideways market is actually the worst market timing you should stick with the combo bot only when you have either a strong bullish momentum or a strong bearish momentum let me switch to my other account real quick yeah here we go so right now i have one one bot active that's the bitcoin short bot so i'm actually shorting bitcoin you see the reason why I um, launched this bot is because I saw the price rejection at the resistance. 
So that means that the bullish sentiment is not yet strong enough. So in my opinion, from the risk management perspective, it makes sense to actually enter the market with a short bot just to hedge against the falling market. That's actually what I did because my stop loss is pretty close to my entry price. I feel like the price is going to move like this, you see, uh, and it's going to fall down to this area around. That's what I pretty much expect to see from the Bitcoin in a short term perspective. Um, but this is based on the fact that we have rejected resistance here. And it's pretty much the head and shoulders pattern formation that you can spot right now. And, it, and in head and shoulders, it's like this, pretty much. And that's why I entered this trade. And having this all in mind, the entry is the entry price is pretty close to the stop loss. So that's why from the risk management perspective, this is the reason why I entered this trade. And so far so good. And the thing about the combo bot and the algorithm that we utilize in this particular uh, trading configuration is that the bot uh, splits your margin. Let me check on, on basic attention, for example. Let's say you want to trade basic attention. Uh, let's say you want to trade short. So as you trade short and you, let's say, allocate 100 USDT, it will use 50% at the entry price. So it will allocate 50 USDT right at the start. Another 50 USDT will be uh, allocated here in short sell orders, these red lines. So that's another 50 USDT. And in order to allocate this buy orders, which are in that case, take profits for your short bot, these green lines, you also need to allocate margin, which is also 50%, and that's $50 here. And the thing about the algorithm is that we have another layer of uh, short sell orders, which are invisible at the start, but they will emerge if the price breaks this level, like this first layer of uh short sell orders and if it breaches it you will see new sell orders short sell orders emerge here and which also require to have around 50 usdt so like if you uh, if you calculate this all together 50 four times it's going to be 200 dollars so in the worst market scenario you can expect the, the board to lose not hundred dollars but two hundred dollars actually i have some examples here where i can show you this bad market scenarios that i had let's use from from october so you see worst market scenarios here minus hundred percent and in in, in worst cases that was exactly two hundred percent loss so you see double of the my initial margin price. So here we had what hundred dollars, and I told you that you can lose up to two hundred approximately. So that's exactly what happened with me here. You see, I, I I lost almost twice, and here also almost twice. But but in most cases that's just hundred percent in my case. So keep in mind that when you trade the combo bot. As you allocate hundred dollars, then the, the like pretty much the average maximum, yet the median uh, average you can lose is up to two hundred. If you allocate three hundred, then you expect that you can lose six hundred, for example. So that's the thing. Uh, that really depends on the market volatility and how it the the price will will swing, and depending on this, it will. It, 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 it can be that you can lose up to 200% and sometimes even more. I just had like one case when I lose more than two, like 200%. But on average, the maximum is always like around 200%. That's just because of the algorithm we use in the combo bot. Um, so always keep in mind, if you allocate 100, then you can expect to lose 200. That's the way 
I uh, I, I applied the risk management. So as I have my two hundred fifty dollars bought right now, I know that I can lose around five hundred. In order to minimize this, I set my stop loss lower. You see, it's it's actually here. So I, I avoid this short sell orders over here. So that means that my loss is limited. So keep that in mind that you can play with it as well. By putting your stop loss pretty close to your entry price, you minimize your risk uh, significantly. So that's the thing about the combo bot. It's I mean, that's the futures market. And the thing about the futures market is that there are many things that affect your trading like the leverage that you use um the the margin that you have available to cover this trade so many things to take in into account but to make it simple just remember that you allocate initial margin let's say hundred dollars expect to lose maximum around two hundred dollars in order to have control over this risk and to even minimize it, make sure to set your stop loss, well, pretty close to your entry price, but not too close because otherwise you basically don't let the bot to trade the market because if you have it like too tightly closed, then you don't give enough space for the bot to trade, right? It should be always a justified entry and here the entry is justified and that's why my stop loss is pretty close because it makes no sense to have my stop loss around this area I know that it's pretty much it, it if it breaches this local resistance then most likely it will continue rising higher so that's why I have my stop loss pretty close <laughs> So you can check my history, it's pretty successful here, that's around 17% and I had some uh, good trades that covered like two losses in a row. I had like this kind of trade with $425. So with the combo bot it's really about the market timing because here the risk is exponential. You have, you have here higher risk than in the S bot and the classic bot. And the way I use combo bot right now is just for hedging purposes. So I see the price of Bitcoin being rejected at 41k. For me, that's enough of a reason to short sell this market just to hedge against the uh, possible downfall. So that's why I, I launched this bot. Um, trading at combo bot in the sideways market makes no sense imagine your like imagine the price of bitcoin is somewhere around this area in the middle like 37k we have our support around 31k and we have our resistance around 41k so that's pretty much somewhere in the middle and like launching the bot in the middle it's pretty much risky because most likely it will move again sideways and the combo bot is just not designed for the sideways market on the sideways market with the combo bot, most likely you will achieve zero return because it's the del delta neutral zone for the bot. And it really makes sense to set the combo bot only if you want to hedge against the risk as the one I use right now. I'm hedging against the uh, rejected Bitcoin here and I feel like it's going to fall. And another scenario where I would launch this bot is is if we would fall to the support line to that point 31k this is where i would try to launch my uh, long bot because i would put my stop loss below the support so that's going to be pretty close to my entry price so the entry here is justified and the third scenario i would launch the bot is only if i would see the price of bitcoin breaching 40 41k and staying above 41k for like four days or something this would this would give me more confidence that the rally will continue so i would in that case gradually enter the market with a long bot so that's my rationale behind trading uh, automated bots and it's always about the risk um 
make sure to diversify properly. You can have some manual trades that you open here in the smart trade mode where you have um, manual instruments like limit buy, sell, take profit set, multiple areas, stop loss, stop limits, all these tools. That's the manual trade. This is where you have the most control over your uh, positions. You can move your take profit, you can move your stop loss. Then the next strategy would be automated bots. Automated bots, they follow its own algorithm. You cannot move these limit orders. You can only change the, the stop loss and take profit. But taking into account that automated bots um, achieve you the best dollar cost averaging effect, plus they trade automatically 24-7, and they daily generate your returns, it makes sense to have some automated bots in your portfolio. And the third allocation goes just to HODL strategy. And let me actually show you some HODL traits that I have. So by HODL, I mean having some coins in your portfolio. So you just buy something and, and you forget it for a while. So that's what I did with some coins like uh, the VU, uh, the VU network. Um, let me show you. I have it in Huobi, I guess. Where is that trading order history? So you see, I gradually purchased VU at some price levels here, and right now the price of VU is around one. So despite the fact that the the, the, the Bitcoin price is moving sideways, you can see that there are some prominent projects that are actually rising, despite the fact that Bitcoin is moving sideways. So the VU is one of those examples, and you can actually find a few more coins like the VU that are moving against the Bitcoin. So the VU token would bring you now more returns than if you would trade just Bitcoin. So there are only few coins right now on the market which are exposed to this uh, rally. That's because these are pretty prominent projects and investors, like big name investors, they are actually buying these coins on this market downfall. So you can actually see quite few uh, more coins like that that are trading up despite the fact that Bitcoin is moving sideways. So the VU is one of them. I'm not saying that you should rush now and buy VU. I'm just showing you that I have some HODL coins. So I just purchase it manually and I just HODL it because I have some fundamental research on this one and the market price actually proves itself to be bullish. So uh, make your own research always. Look for the diversification of your portfolio have have some hodl coins like the one i have here that's the vool uh, have some bots that will trade you make you money on the sideways market so you like even though that's the stagnant market right now you can still make money on it with the sideways bot so that's the perfect tool to use to generate returns when the rest do not make any money and have some manual trades with multiple take profits and the stop loss that you can always change. And that way you can achieve decent results. So for example, um, you can see your automated bots, auto bots, let's say you allocated 50% of your entire portfolio. And you can see that in a month, it, it, it made you like, I don't know, 30%. Uh, let's say you have some manual trades as well and you allocate it maybe uh, 20% and manual trades made you like I don't know 50% whatever and you also have HODL like the rest 30% and this made you maybe I don't know uh, maybe 30% whatever so uh, like you can you can estimate the total result by this split so 30% out of 
50% out of 20% and 30% out of 30%. So you get your percentage, sum it up, and you get your overall result for the month. So, I mean, utilize as many strategies as, as you can. Like here, for example, 30% out of 50, that's going to be, uh, what, around 16% uh, or something, right? Here, 50 out of 20, that's going to be 10%. And here, 30 out of 30, that's going to be 10%, right? So altogether, the result is around 16 plus 10 plus 10. So that's what? 26. Oh, sorry, 36. 36%. Uh, but, but, I mean, that it's these are just random numbers. I'm just showing you that it really makes sense to diversify because some strategies can bring you more, some few, but altogether they make up decent returns in the midterm perspective and the, the risk here is minimized because in, in outer bots you know that they achieve the best dollar cost averaging in manual trades you have the best control over your position so you can always change the take profit and all that stuff depending on market conditions in order to maximize your returns and in hodl you can actually generate max returns if you are patient enough to let the price to rally so consider this rational and find your ultimate split and that's basically my purpose on each webcast to show you that it's always about the risk and knowledge on different configurations that you can use so we covered like four trading setups as of today that's the one to buy the dip the second one is to trade the sideways market. The third trading setup is to flip from the sideways to the rally bot, which is the combo bot. As soon as you get enough conditions from the market that will bring you enough confidence that the rally continues. And the fourth rational, uh, the fourth trading setup is using the combo bot to hedge against the risk or to risk on the rally but make sure you have uh, the best risk management in the combo bot that way utilizing all these trading setups depending on the market conditions you can achieve these decent returns like 100 percent per month on the rally approximately and from my experience on the sideways market you can achieve around 30 percent per month which is approximately around from 7 to 10 percent per week right so that's actually what i got now you see 30 percent on this one here i get even 50 for the one month 20 percent for 30 days here lower when the rest but this is covered by the fact that i have more in bitcoins so i mean these configurations they they bring me enough based on my expectations and i'm pretty confident that Following these four trading setups at the right moment, you can achieve decent returns. Um, yeah, so basically that's what I wanted to cover today. That was exactly one hour. Mm, let's see if you have some interesting questions uh, out there. Is there a way to read just your grids while the bot is running? No, uh, it's not possible. You just need to close the bot and launch it with new configuration. That's the only way. Uh, only few things that you can change uh, in bots. That's the trading up, the take profit and the stop loss. By the way, I always set my trading up because that way I ensure that if I'm away from my keyboard or sorry laptop or whatever happens and 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 during this time the market rate makes significant rally having my trading up on I make sure that the bot will follow this rally so my trading range which is now up to 44k on Bitcoin it will be actually readjusted to new market price and you will see my upper price now in this area so my actually trading range will follow the rally to ensure that the bot trades endlessly so i always make sure that i have my trading up on on the as bot um 
Let me check if you have anything else. Mm. How can we get the volume indicator on the right side like yours? So in my case, uh, I have a paid plan on trading view, but you can actually use the trick. Um, let's say you don't want to pay. I, I pay just for the convenience. But there is a trick here. Here you go. And you have this thing known as the fixed range volume profile. So for example, I want to know where is the point of the most interest from the 3rd of January until today. And voila, it shows me the area where I had the most volume traded. So that's this exact price. But the thing about this instrument is that you need to adjust, like readjust it all the time. Like if you zoom out the chart, now you have more price points. So you need to actually to change it. You can actually have multiple, you see. Um, but I actually prefer to use the one in the paid plan because that way um, every time I zoom out or zoom in the chart, it automatically adjust you see so it takes from this last price down to current and it always changes that way it's just that i paid for the convenience but from the uh, financial standpoint uh, you should guys really use this tool that they have for free makes more sense it's not available at uh, the, the setup at beats gap yet but i think we will add it soon pretty much but right now use it here in the trading view um, what else we have when will we be able to trade uh, demo mode uh, on the combo bot so this is uh, coming in the future because the combo bot really requires to um, lots of data flow as an input compared with the as bot or the classic bot so that's why it's still in the process so that the system like servers can handle that many data flow requests but in the future like the nearest future you can expect to see the demo mode for the combo bot Yeah, well, I see that the, the investment change and the bot profit are two different metrics, that, but they are interrelated. So the thing about it is that um, the change shows you the return or loss to your investment, whereas the bot profit is always positive because the bot can generate money on any trend. On the downfall, you see, it can always find these short-term opportunities to buy low and sell high, to buy low and then sell high. But this return generated by the bot can be sometimes not enough to cover the overall market plunge. You see, in general, the, the, the price is like falling from if, if you look at from that point, you see, it's pretty much falling here. So the value of the base currency, which is in that case, what? Litecoin? Yeah. So it's falling. The price of Litecoin is falling. So that's why you see like here, I have only 30%. Whereas my bot profit is 20%. That means that this profit made by my bot offsets the negative value change of my uh, Litecoin, which is falling. And sometimes you can see the negative value. But here in 0x and poly, I'm completely diff indifferent towards the change because I only care about the value change to my uh, dollars value whereas here i use this bot just to flip bitcoin to 0x on the downfall that was the only purpose so i'm, I'm indifferent towards this results here i just use the bot algorithm to flip my bitcoin to police and then 0x to take advantage of the, of the falling market um what else do we have here mm. I mean, there are lots of things that are in the development process right now. And you can expect to see uh, new bots coming soon. 
you can expect to see new features coming soon, more um, flexibility in the risk management. But as of now, you have all the tools that you really need to have the ultimate configurations that can bring you maximum returns out of the market and can minimize the the potential loss. So you have it absolutely here. The dollar cost averaging effect of the algorithm, the stop loss, which minimizes the loss, the take profit that secures your returns, the bought profit that is always positive. It goes to your pocket and you can use this money to open new trades. So you can always put this return into new trades to make it work for you. Basically reinvesting your profit. That's the thing you can, you look at the bot profit, you see it made me like $533. That means that at least I can set another bot with 500 investment to make it work for me again, to use my profit, to generate me more profit. Reinvest your money, by the way. Um, and never risk more than you can afford to lose. So all the trades that I have here, I, I'm totally, indifferent towards the risk uh, even though i have stop losses and all that stuff but um, never risk more than you can afford to lose put some money in cash just for security like i you see i have some in cash that means i'm out of the market as of now with this amount so never risk everything So what's the formula for the investment at the top about the bots? So the investment change basically changes the value. It takes the value change of the base in open orders. So it looks at the value change of my thousand zero axis. And plus it takes into account the bot profit generated so far. That's $12. And this is, gives me the total sum in the investment. So it compares basically the current value with the value I invested and it shows me the change. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And if you want to learn more about the bots and different scenarios, you should check the webcast that we had three months ago on the YouTube. And those webcasts that we had three months ago, they pretty much cover more uh, ready-made strategies for the S-Bot and the Classic Bot. So you can check them. You can also check some other short videos that we have on YouTube where I explain how to set up bots. And you can go to Bitscap main page to check some articles in the blog where you can learn more about the useful indicators that you can use in the trading. So for example, um, where is that? Yeah, for example, this tool, the order flow as support and resistance, interesting tool to use. You can use this article to read more about the RSI that you can also use. So whenever the RSI value is low, that pretty much signals you for the entry buy. And you can actually use this logic. You can look for the divergence on the market to see whether the trend is strengthening or weakening. So, I mean, there are lots of tools that you can uh, utilize in trading in order to find the right market timing to enter the uh, market so it's there for you use them to come up with your ultimate strategy and use my insights and logic to uh, experiment as well right so i gave you my trading i, mean, I gave you my grid step range from zero zero point no, let me draw once again. 0 0.7 up to 1.4% for the sideways market formation. Use this inside for me. Use four trading setups that I just explained to you today. And play with the combo bot to hedge against the risk and try to find only those entry opportunities when your stop loss is close to your entry price. For the like for the first time, if you trade a combo bot, try to use really 
really only best market setups don't risk if you are not confident in the current market conditions risk only when you have the best entry price based on the risk management so uh, thanks a lot for your uh, time appreciate a lot leave your feedback we always take into account what you guys want us to do uh, yeah just speak up share your ideas and i always read them and make sure that the next time i can bring you more insights and use cases so that you could learn more about the bitscap and how you can use these tools to to generate the maximum return so based on current market conditions i stick with the sideways market uh, configurations that can bring you around 30 percent per month but uh, on the rising market, I will show you how to set bots to have 100% per month based on my experience. But that's not the limit, of course, you can have more. It's just that depends on the volatility and all that stuff. So thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate and really hope to see you.